What's up guys, Thomas from FT86 Speed Factory and today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about exhaust systems for your FRS, BRZ or 8.6. Now the purpose of an exhaust system is to evacuate the burnt gases from combustion and dump them away from the vehicle. Now if we start replacing the restrictive exhaust components, we can start increasing horsepower, modify where that power is made, and even change the sound. But before we dive into these aftermarket exhaust components, let's first get a better understanding on how the stock system works. Starting with the engine side, we first have the exhaust manifold and that's located right above this metal panel, but when it's replaced with an aftermarket unit, it's usually referred to as a header. The exhaust manifold has four runners that bolt up to each cylinder, and those four runners flow into one pipe, and that is where the first catalytic converter is located, which if you're unfamiliar with this, this is just a part of the emission system, and they're usually referred to as CATs. Next to the exhaust manifold, we have the overpipe, and this is bent in such a way to clear the front subframe, the steering rack, and the front sway bar, and this carries our exhaust gases right to the next component, which is the front pipe. The front pipe houses the second catalytic converter and it connects to the mid pipe where the mid pipe flows into the mufflers and then out of the two tailpipes. When we start talking about aftermarket exhaust, there are five different categories for the FRS BRZ in 8.6. We have the axle back, the cat back, front pipes, over pipes, and headers. First up, we have the axle back, and this replaces the mufflers and the tailpipes, which are the components behind the rear axle. Now, this is a very affordable way to make your exhaust a lot louder, but they aren't going to give you a noticeable increase in power. However, they are a lot lighter than the factory mufflers. Some popular axle backs that we have on our website are from Borla, Hooker, and Leg Sport, but we also have muffler delete options as well from Private Label and Nameless. Now, catback system is exactly what it sounds like. It's a system that replaces everything from the catalytic converter located in the front pipe all the way back to the tailpipes. You typically get a lot more flow out of the catback, so that means you get a little bit more power as well, and there's a lot more catbacks to choose from on the market than axle backs, so you're gonna get a larger range of tone, sound, and a performance gains. So now, let's have a listen to a couple popular catback systems. <laughs> Most aftermarket exhausts use a straight through muffler because they're lightweight, have an aggressive sound, and a high rate of flow. Now inside one of these, you'll find a perforated pipe wrapped in sound deadening material like steel wool and fiberglass. Typically, the larger the muffler and the more mufflers there are, the quieter the exhaust is going to be. Now for example, the NVIDIA Q300 has a larger muffler and it dampens a decent amount of the exhaust sound, but it still lets out a pretty decent tone. While on the other end of the spectrum, we have single exit exhaust, like our very own V2 catback, and the Tomei Extreme, that muffle the sound a lot less, letting out a very aggressive exhaust tone, but without restricting much of the flow. Heading upstream from the catback now, the next component we'll take a look at is the front pipe. And the front pipe, as I mentioned earlier, is where the second catalytic converter is located, and in aftermarket front pipes, you can get them with a high flow cat, catless, or catless with a resonator. And the resonator is there to reduce some drony and raspy tones. Now, if you do decide to go catless, you don't need to worry about check engine lights since the O2 sensor runs off the first catalytic converter inside the header. Next up, we have overpipes, and while these are small, they shouldn't be forgotten, especially if you're doing a full exhaust, because without one of these, you're gonna be bottlenecking your system. Now over here on the table, I have four different overpipes. This one from NVIDIA is made from one single piece of pipe, whereas the one from Motive has four pieces welded together. Now, AVO has one that's ceramic coated, so it's gonna keep engine temps down, and this last one's from Blocks, and this one's made out of titanium, so it's less than half the weight of the other ones that are made out of stainless steel. 
Now a header is where you can make the most amount of power from a naturally aspirated engine. And when customers ask us what's the best way to make more power from their car, I always tell them to go with a header and a tune. Now there are a ton of different headers on the market right now, but there's really only two factors that differentiate them. The first one is if they're unequal length or equal length, and the second is if they're catted or uncatted. Now this here is an unequal length header, and this is actually the one that we manufacture in-house, and you'll know it's an unequal length header because these two runners are much longer than these two, and that's going to give you more mid-range torque, but also these exhaust pulses are going to collide eventually in the merge pipe, and that's what's going to give you that recognizable Subaru rumble. Now if we look over to the equal length header, you notice that these two runners are the same length and that's going to help in exhaust scavenging and this header is going to make more top end power but at the cost of mid-range torque. You're also going to notice that this is a little bit bigger than the unequal length header and it's also going to weigh more as well. Now the other factor is if you go with a catted or catless header and if you go with a catted header, you're going to stay emissions compliant and you're going to have a lot less chances of getting a check engine light. But if you go with a catless header, you're going to get more power since you're going to get a lot more flow since that cat's not going to be in the way anymore. But you're not going to be emissions compliant. However, your exhaust is going to get a little bit louder. Now a couple things I want to note before we wrap things up. The first one is resonators and how they're different from mufflers. Now mufflers reduce the entire decibel level of an exhaust while resonators only eliminate a select frequency that causes harsh buzzing or loud droning. And you can typically find resonators in some catback systems as well as front pipes. The second thing I want to touch on is the materials that exhausts are made out of. And the most common out there is stainless steel because it's strong and affordable. But it's not the most lightweight material out there. And if you're looking for a lightweight exhaust system, you're definitely going to want to go with titanium. Because titanium is much stronger per pound than stainless steel. And the same stainless steel pipe can be made much thinner and therefore lighter with titanium. However, you are going to pay a much heftier price for titanium. So it's one thing that you have to consider. Well, that about wraps up this video. If you have any questions at all, feel free to send us an email or give us a call. And if you want to pick up an exhaust for your FRS, BRZ, or 8.6, you can head over to our website by clicking right here. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button down below. This is Thomas, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't judge me.